This is a tutorial to show you how to install a font on Windows 7. In particular a font from graphicextras.com but it could equally be for any font. It's a true type font so I'm just going to quickly go over to the folder. When you uh, download a graphic extras font it comes in a zip file. Uh, once you've unzipped the file you'll see a selection of files. One of the files is a true type font. I'm just going to select that then right click open come up with a selection of the designs and now at this point if you click the install and I'm not going to do that because I've actually installed it already but uh, if you click install just there it will come up with the dialogue if you're on a just basic user account you'll have to enter your password details etc if not you might be obviously you might be on an admin account and they should install fine so I'm just going to stop that now so also with the zip file comes a selection of EPS files and they're exactly the same designs as the true type font also inside the file is a PDF document I'm just going to double click on that and that shows the relationship between the various characters so if you type in A, B, C etc you will see the, these character designs so there's about here there's one, two that's the design you would get, actually get if you click one on the keyboard close that right now I'm just going to quickly start up Microsoft Word Starter start up there and I'm just going to go and select the font and there's the flower font that I've just installed click in the install now another way of doing it installing would actually be just to select the file and drag into the control panel fonts folder but I'm, I'm not going to do it that way so I'm just going to select that then I'm going to set the size to 200 so you can actually see the design and I'm just going to now just type A, B, C etc, F now whatever character you obviously want so I'm just going to go with one of them just going to select that one and now I'm just going to give it a quick style you can go through, obviously go through these various styles I'm just going to go for that one so that's part of now a Word document. Um, you also, of course, do the similar sort of thing in any other word processor, as well as Photoshop, Pages, other applications.